Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashriyakal, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali, and today we're going to react to your doctor's first treat a doll to convince baby for leg yes. surgery. Yes. So my husband saw this in the news and kind of felt like it hit home a little bit. Anjali, we've wanted to put her in a bubble for a very long time. I'm going to get more of her in a bubble. <laughs> No, <laughs> we're going to put you inside a bubble. She's very oh fragile. Goodness. She's gotten better now that she's older and she's done karate and she's, you know, doing field hockey and yeah. exercising and stuff. But when what? she was younger, um, you know, she had some issues. We had to go to a few doctors. Yeah. She broke her collarbone. She broke her arm. Um, they thought she broke her nose. She fell and cut her head open. And not from yeah. doing anything crazy. Like, like Jaden, like, hits his head against the corner of a wall, and he's fine. Right. So Jaden tripped and fell and hit his head on the corner of a wall. And he had a bump, but that was it. Anji fell the same corner, hit the same part at around the same age, and we had to go to the hospital, and they had to put some glue on her head. Yeah. So um, we have we understand... Um, the family pain and, and, the, and the child pain of being at the hospital or having things that where you need to go and get treated for. So, unfortunately. So, um, we're going to get the tissue box just in case. My yeah. husband likes to do this to us. And I don't and, like uh, it. You guys like to do this to us, too, though. You guys like to request stuff that is very emotional. Um, yeah. So, we're going to start it up. Yes. తల్లి బిడ్డల ప్రేమకు మించినది ఏది ఉండదు పిల్లల గురించి తల్లికి తెలిసినంతగా మరెవరికీ తెలియదు పిల్లలకు ఏమి ఇష్టమో వారికి కష్టం వస్తే ఎలా బుజ్జగించాలో కూడా ఆ తల్లికే తెలుసు ఢిల్లీలో ఓ తల్లి అదే పని చేసింది కాలు విరిగి ఇబ్బంది పడుతున్న తన కూతురికి తన ఆలోచనతో ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేయించింది ఢిల్లీకి చెందిన ఓ పదకొండు నెలల పాప కాలు ఎముక ఫ్రాక్చర్ అయ్యి ఇబ్బంది పడుతోంది కానీ పసిపాప కావటంతో ట్రీట్మెంట్ కు సహకరించడం లేదు ఏం చేయాలని ఆ తల్లి తల్లడిల్లిపోయింది డాక్టర్లు కూడా ఆ చిన్నారికి ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేసేందుకు విఫల యత్నం చేశారు బిడ్డ కష్టాన్ని ఎలా తొలగించాలని ఆ తల్లి బాగా ఆలోచించింది చివరికి ఆ తల్లికి ఓ అద్భుతమైన ఆలోచన వచ్చింది తన కూతురు బాగా ఇష్టపడే ఓ బొమ్మ ఉందని ముందు దానికి ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేయాలని డాక్టర్లకు చెప్పింది డాక్టర్లు కూడా మొదట ఈ మాటలు విని ఆశ్చర్యపోయారు కానీ ఆ తల్లి మనసు అర్థం చేసుకుని ఓకే చెప్పారు హాస్పిటల్లో చిన్నారి ఉన్న బెడ్ పైనే బొమ్మకు ఉత్తుత్తి ట్రీట్మెంట్ మొదలు పెట్టారు బొమ్మ రెండు కాళ్లకు బ్యాండేజీ వేసి పైకి కట్టారు ఇదంతా ఆ చిన్నారి గమనిస్తూనే ఉంది బొమ్మ ట్రీట్మెంట్ అయిపోగానే చిన్నారికి ట్రీట్మెంట్ మొదలు పెట్టారు అప్పటి వరకు ఏడ్చి మారం చేసిన ఆ చిన్నారి పక్కన బొమ్మకు చేసినట్టుగానే తనకు చేస్తుండటంతో సైలెంట్ గా ఉండిపోయింది ఒకరోజు రెండు రోజులు కాదు ఇప్పటికీ వారం రోజులు దాటింది కాళ్లు పైకి కట్టేసినా ఏమాత్రం ఏడవకుండా ట్రీట్మెంట్ కు సహకరిస్తోంది పక్కనే తనలాగే కాళ్లకు బ్యాండేజీతో ఉన్న బొమ్మతో ఆడుకుంటోంది మరో వారం రోజుల్లో చిన్నారి పూర్తిగా కోలుకుంటుందని డాక్టర్లు చెబుతున్నారు చిన్నారికి ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఎలా చేయాలో తెలియక మొదట తల పట్టుకున్న డాక్టర్లు ఆ తల్లికి వచ్చిన ఆలోచనకు హ్యాట్సాప్ చెబుతున్నారు డాక్టర్లైనా తమకు అలాంటి ఆలోచన రాలేదని కానీ ఓ మధ్య తరగతి మహిళ అయినా ఆ పాప తల్లికి ఇలా ట్రీట్మెంట్ చేయాలనే ఆలోచన రావటం చాలా గ్రేట్ అంటున్నారు has to lie down like that for nearly 2-3 weeks. So that's a very established method. What was unique about it is the patient comes to a new atmosphere. She's very painful. She can't even go to the mother. So this uh, patient was very 
you know, all patients of such types, they keep crying. She was also in pain, she was crying. It was the mother's idea, who comes from a very ordinary background, that she is very close to a doll at home. So she brought that, and we discussed it with her, that how can we make that patient more comfortable. So probably we tie the doll also in the same position, and it worked so well, the patient felt so comforted. She felt that there is somebody whose doll, who is so close to her, who is a friend of hers, also is lying next to her. She is similarly placed. So she felt good, and somehow she took it uh, in a very positive manner. Um, so I can see why my husband sent us the story. Anji never had to be at the hospital for that long, but we did have to be at the doctor's um, many times and for some overnight stays. And and for a child that little, Anji was never that little, but to have to stay in that position for that long, that's, that's a long time. Long time. And to not understand, like, like what's happening, what's going like, on. I can't go to my mom. I'm stuck in this position. Yeah. Like, Just heart wrenching. And, you know, moms do know best. You know, we know our kids more than the doctors do. And, um, and so those little things, that will make them just a little bit more comfortable. And that was like the best idea for them. Um, you know, her doll is her everything in her little world, you know? And yeah. so to have the doll with her and then to put it in the same position she was in so that she felt like she had a friend with her, you know, really, I think just made her more comfortable and, and it was something from home such a big deal with little kids especially like bringing stuff from home smells like home reminds them of home and especially if she can't see her mom or her mom can't come and scoop her up which i can't imagine for three weeks not being able to hold your child that little um yeah. you know really is you know i'm glad the doctors listened Sometimes they don't always, and so this was really nice to see that they worked with the family to make her more comfortable so she wasn't crying all the time. Yeah, you know? and it, it's like she, like her best friend is next to her, and it looked like I was in that position, or like something similar to that. I'd want to have like my best friend right next to me, like if we were both in the same position, like not nice, like that we're in that position, but it'd like, be nice to talk to someone. Yeah, having some, when in a hospital, I mean, whenever we took Anjali, the nurses were always so nice, the doctors were always so nice, but you're not at home, you know, it's not, it's like, it's scary for a little child, like, to it's go. It's like a bunch of random people are surrounding you, putting needles in your arms, mm -hmm. and like, being like, how blunt. Yeah, or even, you know, they have to come and maybe take blood, so they have to prick yeah. you, they have to come and, you know, change your diaper, you know, that, that child was little, and, you know, to not be able, I mean, I'm assuming her family came to see her, but yeah. I don't know how much they could do with her, because she had to stay that way for so many days, and just really, really hard, and, and to see that they're, um, you know, she had her doll with her. So Anji has her doll from when she was at the hospital and um, this little doll we got for her and she took it to visits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she understands, you know, being in that position and having, you know, something familiar from home, from your family. And, uh, you know, moms, moms know these things and my husband was like whenever the kids you ask the kids who do they want to be with they always say mommy you know because like even if they're angry at you you just go to them anyway because they're not going to let you start or something like or right get your stuff. even if mommy's mad at you because you weren't listening i will still feed you dinner and you know do the things for you that you need from me so I'm, i hope all this works out you know, yeah. for this little girl, it seems like the doctors listen to the family and the mom, and she seems to be at least resting peacefully while she's healing. And um, 
hopefully then she'll get to go home soon to her family, right? Yeah. So I hope you liked this video. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below. The more you like it, the more YouTube views our videos. And don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.